Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here and welcome to my guide to Alexander, the Fist of the Father, also known as A1. This guide will cover the normal difficulty of this raid. To unlock this fight, you must first finish the 3.0 main scenario quests before talking to Slowfix in Idleshire. The minimum item level to enter this fight in the Duty Finder is item level 170, and it rewards tokens that can be traded in for item level 190 armor and accessories. For a more detailed explanation of the loot system, be sure to check the annotation in the top right of the video. Before fighting the boss in here, you must first pass through a few steam vents that do some AoE damage and fight a mini-boss, Faust. Just have one tank take Faust and another tank grab all the adds that spawn during the fight and rush Faust's HP down to zero. He gets stronger over time, so be prepared for increased damage the longer that you fight him. After killing Faust, you'll come to the boss of this floor, the Oppressor. The Oppressor is a two-phase encounter with a few very simple mechanics. To skip to a specific phase, please use the annotations in the top left hand of the video. For phase one, you can tank the Oppressor anywhere really, but the south wall isn't a bad place to consider. The Oppressor has mostly standard boss attacks. He has a conal attack on the tank, a line AoE he shoots at the raid, and AoE resin bombs you need to sidestep as well. Nothing fancy, just dodge the AoEs. He also does raid-wide damage with his gunnery pod occasionally, and marks a player in the raid with prey. When the prey marker wears off, whoever the prey target is will take several missile strikes back to back, dealing minor damage that you can just heal through. A little bit over a minute into the fight, the oppressor uses emergency deployment, summoning two alarm adds out of each of his sides that are minied and have eight nanoparticle stacks on them. These adds will tether to the first person to strike them or just attack randomly, placing their stacks of nanoparticles on their target. If a player gets to eight nanoparticle stacks, they will be minied, reducing their damage done and increasing their damage taken. When the alarm loses all of its nanoparticle stacks, it will be unminied and deal more damage as well. Additionally, when killed, the alarms drop puddles under their bodies that will mini any player or 3,000 tons missile inside of them. That's the end of phase one. Now, moving on to phase two. A short amount of time after summoning the alarms for the first time, the oppressor will summon another version of itself, the oppressor 0.5. It will have the same amount of health as the oppressor did when summoning it as all the same attacks and will enter the arena from the north side. Assuming you're tanking the original Oppressor on the south side of the arena, your off tank should pick it up and just tank it right where it spawns. If both Oppressors are near each other, they gain a stacking damage buff every few seconds, though this isn't too threatening and falls off after they're separated after a little bit of time. From this point on, every mechanic is doubled, but there's also a new mechanic, 3000 tons missile. When the Oppressors use this attack, they will both summon a laser marker in a spot around the arena, designating the impact point of the 3,000 tons missile. If they hit the ground fully sized, they will deal massive damage, inflict a damage done reduction on the party, and reduce everyone's healing received with a stacking debuff. If both of them hit, odds are everyone's dead. To mitigate this, just kill an alarm under where the missile spawns. When it gets close to the ground, it will be minied and just emit a small explosion. After this, the bosses will both jump in the air before landing in a designated AoE section, dealing more damage the closer you are to the impact zone. Just stand on the opposite side of the arena. Tanks, pick up your bosses after they land, separate them, rinse, and repeat. Both oppressors need to die at about the same time. When one dies, the other will begin channeling self-destruct, which will kill everyone if it finishes casting. Self-destruct will also cast if you take too long with the fight, the equivalent of about six jumps in the arena. Just keep dodging the AoEs, kill the adds under the missiles, and it's easy peasy. The coffers at the end drop two tokens for the party to roll on. The possibilities are accessory, belt, or feat tokens. Thanks for watching my guide to the Fist of the Father on the normal difficulty. For more guides, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share these videos with your friends. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care.